Our Leader in Me journey began with a book study. We found that 93% of our staff were on board and wanted to move forward. They were just like, wow, we have got to do this. How are we going to make this happen? We want this, but how? The initial cost is very overwhelming because of the amount of support that you get from Franklin Covey. We had dollars that we could put towards it, but not everything that was needed to make it happen right away. Most towns don't have the big donor. Most towns have to get it done one painful little bit at a time. So the Clarion community is um, just about 2,700 people. The best thing about our district and about our communities is that they support projects that they see worthwhile. We'll say the last 20 years have had some major worthwhile community projects, uh, including renovation to our Clarion Public Library. We have been blessed with many opportunities for fundraisers throughout the community. Our aquatic center, we have a very nice museum, the school playground. The list goes on and on. And so we knew that if we could relay the message that we knew and believed in, that, that they would believe in that as well. We believed in it so much um, that our community could see that. We went to civic organizations, we went to the city councils, and started gleaning support from each and every one of them. First and foremost, we wanted to involve students because that's what it was about. It was about how could we better our students and how could we better our school. So each and every time an opportunity that we could, we took students with us to these presentations. And seeing the kids' involvement and realizing, you know, we're raising leaders for tomorrow. We're raising community members for tomorrow. When we see kids going before the city council on in different groups in town and making presentations and telling us about their passions, that is something that can bring us all together. We wanted to also share with the community that our staff was invested in this as well. We've really tried to do absolutely everything to fundraise. One day we grouped together as an entire staff and we delivered phone books to the entire community here in Clarion. It was a rainy, not a very nice day when we did it. We were able to work together, we were able to bond and build that connection of why this is so important to us. One of the coolest things we did was a pool party. It was at the end of the school year, kind of a kickoff for the summer and families came together and enjoyed time at the pool for a small donation, and then we raised $1,000 just by having that pool party. Another one was the, a penny drive. Each class had a container, a jar, that um, was set outside in the hallway, and each day as the kids came to school, the challenge between each grade was to see how much money they could raise. That far exceeded my expectations when we started that. I had no idea we were going to bring in as much change as we did. It was amazing. We've had some families invest. We've had some individual businesses in our communities, city councils, and civic organizations invest. So we've had a wide variety of people on our donor list, um, and we're very proud of that. It was hugely important to us to recognize all of the donors. Each time that a check was received at the school, um, we called the newspaper and provided some type of recognition in the newspaper. You know, at first it was like, is this actually really even possible? And now looking at it, we've accomplished it, and now we get to sit back and take the time to really change our school. It's, it's impressive. I look at what we were able to do, the fundraising and the support these people want our kids to be leaders. It is possible. It is possible because we have done it. If you know the why and you know the purpose, and if it's good enough for other students in other parts of the world, then it's good enough for your students as well.